I'm going to give you guys a quick compost update. Uh, we haven't had rain for quite a while now. I think the month of May we only got like a quarter inch. Uh, so I made this compost pile up and I had this compost pile. Uh, I've been getting a bunch of coffee grounds so I need to mix everything up. So now I'm going to add it to this pile. I'll show you this is the geo bin. Uh, I was able to get it through our extension office for $20. You can purchase them at like Home Depot or Amazon, but they're closer to like $40. And what's nice is when I go to uh, kind of move it, remove it, flip it, whatever, all I have to do is just twist these keys and it separates. <clears throat> Now, there's a lot of pressure down on these guys, so I gotta kinda work it a little bit. It ends up just pulling through, which is fine. So, that's the compost. <laughs> This outside's very, very dry. Typically I would water with some water from my rain barrel, but we haven't really had any rain. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit as soon as I break this pile down. Okay, whew. The whole pile's been broken down. Now I just go ahead and reform the geo bin around these stakes that I try to leave in the ground as much as possible. That helps to kind of get and keep the shape of the bin for me and you know anything that makes your life a little easier is a good thing I don't stick it at the very end I put it in the one right before it and then I do go to the very end on the one on the inside and then once it's there just give the key a twist and it's every other spot let me do the bottom one now because that's going to be the most pain in the butt one to get the other ones I can actually reach in and get and turn okay so you can see it goes back together pretty quick and easily um, it does help having the stakes. All I'm going to do now is start layering. I'm going to add some of this compost in. I have a water hose here. I'll give it a little spray and then I'm going to add some of that uh, coffee grounds in there. So hopefully I can heat it back up. Uh, I'm going to find my thermometer and I'm going to stick that in the middle too. I gotta grab a bucket. Yeah, I'm not gonna add any more of that other compost to this. I was gonna combine them. Yeah, definitely gonna keep these separate. Yeah, so I'll show you this in a little bit.
few more shovelfuls and I should be able to lift it up. That's how high the compost pile is now. I just added a ton of water to it. Even though it's chlorinated water, at this point water is better than uh, bone dry. If you guys have any questions about composting, don't forget to drop them down in the comments. Okay, there's the temperature. It's 82. It was just under, <clears throat> it was just under 80 when I put it in uh, about 20 minutes ago. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and I'll keep track and try to show you guys how the temperature goes over the next couple days. When I was starting to add some of the more finished compost, and this wasn't all the worms, this was just the ones I was able to quickly grab. Look at these monsters. Some beautiful looking worms. Oh, can you see the little baby worm? So I just went ahead and flipped the other compost pile because with all these worms in there, I didn't want to uh, add them uh, to that bin uh, that I just flipped because that thing is going to get hot with all those coffee grounds. So I'm just going to add these guys back to that other compost pile. Here's the pile. I just went ahead and gave this a flip and uh, watered that in. Oh, there's a couple of worms still in there, so I'll pick them out. Yeah, so this is the compost that I added to the raised garden beds. I put about two inches uh, and it wasn't quite broke down like this when I added it but it was still awesome stuff to add awesome material um, and it was loaded up with worms too so uh, hopefully this has a bunch of coffee grounds in it too so hopefully this is more done and it doesn't really heat up for them so I did leave just a little bit here where the shadows are moving um, so if it does get hot hopefully the worms can get there uh, to you know avoid any damage from the coffee grounds heating up too much this pile here should get pretty roaring hot. Even as I was uh, breaking the pile down, the middle was still steaming, um, but it was very dry. Well, thanks for coming along, checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.